Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. And today we have Agronos Alif Signature Edition number one. And this might look weird to you because if you are used to the old Agronos Alif uh, signature, they have these like really weird kind of ridged gold paper on the bottom and the silver paper on the other one. They go through some sort of rebranding repackaging a while back and now they look like this okay so i don't know if you can still buy the other one i think you can but this is the old, the new packaging now this particular one is a robusto uh msrp about 10 50 to 11 dollars and it's a nicaraguan puro with corojo wrapper and it's like a hybrid criollo night um they are saying that it's, it's, it's a Corojo binder and a Corojo wrapper that is Criollo 98 leaf, which is a hybrid. So be, because it's a hybrid, you get that peppery Corojo rather than a sweet, nice Corojo. We'll see. We'll see how that goes, right? So first, let's remove this foot band. There we go. So I think you can remove this band separately. Here we go. Let me try that. There we go. So you get this band that just says one edition. It's not a first edition. It's just edition one. Uh, number two, I think is uh, at the Maduro. I think I have it. I'll do another review on that one. And uh, you get this paper, which is just really decoration, reminiscing to the old gold foil that they had kind of design now you get to this which now looks a very normal cigar sure i mean it does look normal very cedary smell and if i can find a cutter oh wow it's like cedar and dry oak like oak barrel or something like that very very tasty kind of let's light this up real quick i'm gonna get through this review like super quick <laughs> hopefully i don't make another like 50 minute reviews darn it i'm gonna burn this microphone one day i know i will All right, let's go. Let's go. You can already tell. It's not going to be a good star. Is this a number eight? It's not going to be a good star. I don't know I leave. Why? Why? Yeah, right? This is not going to be good. Why? Like, do I even need to stress what this looks like? All right, anyways. It's pepper. It's grainy. It's a little bit earthy. That pepper is, ooh, pepper. That pepper is pepper. And a little bit of cedary. I mean, it's not even cedar. It's woodsy. It's not even cedar. It's woodsy. That pepper. It's no joke. It's pepper. But yeah, I can... 
I will have to do some surgery on this later on, looks like. Yeah, this whole part is soft. There's like nothing here. Can you see that then? See that? There's nothing in here. Something here? Nothing here. Nothing here either. It's missing a lot or something. Someone had a bad day. And like, I need to feed my family. I need to take a piece here, piece here so I can go make another cigar and bring it home. Something like that. I don't know. Why do you, like, how? But the draw is pretty okay. <laughs> that, I actually okay with this draw. We'll see. So long as it, be, it doesn't become no draw, it might correct itself. And I hope I hope it is. Because Equinosa Leaf is not a bad brand. It's not a brand that skimped out on their, their tobacco or, or anything like that, you know? They went through this whole rebranding, re, redoing them thing, and relaunch everything. Now, a lot of stuff there is actually pretty good and pretty cool. And I hope they don't fuck this one up. Yep. Yeah, that woodsiness, that... That specific woodsiness, the earthiness, the grassiness is actually pretty good. Pretty good. So... Let's smoke through one third and we'll talk about this cigar. We'll talk about this cigar. Be right back. Okay, so one third of the way and it kind of just. Ah! All right. One third of the way. It's actually not bad of a cigar. I mean, it tastes pretty good. That tunnel kind of fixed itself in a way. It's not as bad anymore. Um, but that loose draw sometimes does make it go out. All right? So, very good woodsy tone. At times, there's a little bit of floral note too. So, I, I like it. It tastes pretty good. Very relaxing cigar. It's not like, oh my god, I'm going to beat you in the face. This is more like... Um, um, mile plus to medium. Very nice, but whenever I relight it, it has this really nasty taste. Like a raw taste of some sort. I don't know what that is. Uh, but once it's lit, you take a couple of puff, it's all good. So, yeah, and this thing is relatively short. It looks like I'm supposed to be one third, but technically this is already to the second third halfway mark point thing. So I don't know. It's it's a little short to me. It's a little short. I don't know if I even mentioned how short that is, but it's short. It's robusto, but it's short, right? The robusto is five by fifty-two, but it feels short. I don't know why. Short. Did I say short? Yeah, I say short. It feels kind of short. So, good cigar. Ten fifty, eleven dollar. Yeah, I can see that right now. I I give him ten fifty. For this, but it's kind of short. Did I mention it's short? Yeah, ten for ten fifty. It's kind of short, but you know, not bad. Good cigar. Um, we we'll go through the second, third to the band ish, and then we will talk about the. Let's see if that changed up for better. Because, like I said, the the draw kind of fixed itself. The hole is still there. You can, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's just two holes there. But, but it's acceptable draw. Acceptable. So we'll come back really quickly because this thing's about to get there. Be right back. Okay, we're back. Like, this is too dirt. Trust me, it's short. So this is too dirt. Did I mention it's short? It's too dirt. All right, anyway, so let's take a look at this. So they rebranded this. So the band looks like this. Now, instead of... Before Agronosa Leaf, we'll just have Agronosa Leaf on it. Just the words. Um, I, Albert, will probably put a picture of the old one here. You'll see the label just have the word. Now they have this... Uh, 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 somebody's arm got chopped off, wrapped up, and holding some um, tobacco leaf. And then they call that Agrodosa Leaf Signature. So, 
And there's two emblems. One says Esther Lee and the other one says Nicaragua. Nicaragua. Yep. Nicaragua. Yep. It's kind of weird because it's three letter at a time. Top, right, and then bottom. So I don't know if you guys see. Here we go. Like that. So. It's a good rebranding, redesign. This one pops a little bit more. But that arm is kind of weird. Like, I don't have a... Um, chop the arm off. <laughs> I don't know. It looks cool. It's just uh, it's just weird. It, 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 that close, that fold up close, it, it looks like, you know, it's like... I don't know. If you, if you ever bought like a ham back in the day, that piece of ham, it's wrapped up. It feels like that. I don't know. It looks weird. But nice redesign. It does pop up more. It does look cooler. It looks more expensive. Um, it did the job. It did a lot of branding on there. So now it pops more. A lot of the new cigar looks pretty good. Uh, the Supreme Leaf and all that stuff. It looks a lot better. So yeah, they did a good job on rebranding. Just that the cigar is a little short. It still give me a little burning issue. Like, see, see this one? You see? It still gave me burning issue. But, you know, it's the last stir. We'll finish our last stir and we'll talk about it. But I can already tell you 10 30, 10 10 50, 10 30, 10 50 is here. I, I can give 10 10 50 for that. Even 11. It's not too bad. So, be right back. <laughs> All right, we're finally done at the end. Um, I shouldn't even say finally because this is not even long. Because this is short. <laughs> anyway, so relaxing cigar is not a strong cigar. It's a very standard. Uh, to me, it's almost Connecticut, right? But it's just uh, it's woodsy. Uh, the pepper goes away like halfway. Not even halfway. It's gone already. It's mostly just wood. And um, and at time, like I said, it has a little bit of sweetness. At time, it has a little bit of earthiness. At time, it has a little bit of that floral. And I think that floral was good. Like, if this cigar has more of that floral coming in more, that will have been perfect for this cigar. Because it's just like, it gets boring, right? It's short, but it gets boring. It gets uh, it's not a lot of, not a lot of impressive note in there. It became a normal cigar. So, 1050, not too bad. I'll give him that, 1050. Uh, I think the quality is good. The smoke is good. Those two tunnel didn't bother me as as much as I thought it would. It, it was fine. So, with that being said, cigar, I would recommend it. That's actually not that bad. Go get one. Ten fifty, eleven bucks. I think it's worth your money. I think it's worth your money. Yeah, what's in this floral? Not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, it could be someone's morning cigar. It could be somebody's everyday cigar. Uh, it goes, it pair well with tea, coffee. Uh, doesn't pair so well with bourbon. But water will do it. Uh, and, and soda was, was fine too. So, yeah. I mean, the, the, it's just, I would say it's a all around basic standard I want to say boutique, but it's not boutique. It's not boutique. It's a regular production. There's plenty of those. You can find it anywhere. So 1050, even though it's on the high end, I said the quality is good enough to be 1050. Okay. So that's it for the cigar review today. Not much to talk about. It's a basic cigar. Uh, I think this will be like the one of those core line cigar, which is, you know, people smoke all the time and not, not pay too much attention to it. Just make sure that they're good. They're not nasty. Everybody can smoke it every single day cigar, right? So that's it for the cigar review. If you like it, like, review. No, don't review it. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, and, and share it. And, and make sure you comment because if you comment, then I know what you're thinking. If I don't know what you're thinking, I don't know what you're thinking. And if you have any other cigars that you want me to review, or you want uh, us to do a double review, triple review, you let us know. So that we can go look for it and then we do a opinion kind of thing. And make sure to also check out our Shadow Smokes Legion in the Shadow Podcast, uh, which is still going on right now. And um, 
in pretty much every podcast channel that you can find. Make sure you go listen to that. Let us know how we're doing. All right. So I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.